Sup guys. <clears throat> you guys remember this thing? Yes, I specifically have this big uh, bright LED lamp here so you get so you guys can get adequate lighting. Uh, you guys remember this thing? The Dell PowerEdge 2300 um, server from 1999. I bought this thing back in like September or October. I can't remember. Maybe August. Who knows? Um, and it's been sitting down here for a long, long time doing nothing. Uh, mainly because I just ran out of space for it. And I couldn't, you know, I just figured, okay, I'm not going to do anything with this thing. I'll just let it sit down here until something comes along for it. Well, I never found a use for it. So it's been sitting down here for the past four or five months now uh, doing absolutely nothing. My camera batteries are low again, but whatever. I'll record until they die. How's that? Um, anyway, the... Uh, it's been sitting down here doing nothing for that for all of this time and uh... basically i just want to uh... give you guys a rundown of uh... it again and it is back up and running already i did a video yesterday um, of trying to get this thing back up and running but uh... after after i plugged it up into that uh... dell seventeen inch monitor there it kept giving me a stupid uh timing error or something like it just wouldn't display the image so I tried everything and that wouldn't work and I even tried to uh, enable VGA mode and that still wouldn't work with that stupid monitor so I hooked it up to my nice ASUS one and it works just fine now so yeah basically what I did was uh, instead of moving it out again with because it's kind of unnecessary I mean it it'll do its job right there um, I basically just hooked everything up uh, from, you know, just from over here, and then I have it hooked up here, I know, excuse the mess, but then I have a uh, compact PS2 keyboard there, which I'll stuff away, and then I have a little mouse that's going back there to a USB extender, so, yeah, so it works just fine like that, uh, I got it back on the network um, in the work group, so this computer will see it, I just have to see if those computers are still set up, uh, how I need them. And uh, I should have a very, very small scale and simple file server. Now, this isn't your typical um, file server. It's not really a file server, to be honest. I mean, it is, but it's kind of the noobish way of doing it. Uh, basically, I just, you know, shared one of the dr one of the partitions um, on the network, and then I just, you know, did a work group. So, I mean, it's not really a, you know, a nice fancy file server with a domain and all of that crap, but it's kind of unnecessary, to be honest. Uh, yes, I know there's a bunch of crap on top, like some old RAM, a hard drive, and then the rest is just kind of bull crap. It doesn't need to be there, but whatever. I don't have anywhere else to put it, and uh, this is where this computer is going to stay. It's not going to run 24-7, uh, because that's um, unnecessary, but... Yeah, so let me go ahead and take this front front cover off and then the side panel and then we shall look at the goodies inside this thing once again. Alrighty, I got it stripped down. I got the front panel off. Uh, just a basic flash. Flash, yeah. Basic plastic front panel. Um, yeah, it's pretty, you know, simple. Just a Pentium 3 logo there. Uh, I'll go down on, on a rundown of the specs just because, uh, you know, I want to, again. Just for another, another overview, but first, let's go ahead and take a look at the front. We got our uh, power buttons, LEDs, etc., etc. Actually, the power button's up here, I think. Let's see. No, that's the lock. This is the lock, and then the power button's down here on this board, like it should be. Um, three and a half inch floppy, which is kind of sideways there. Um, Regular CD-ROM drive. Not how many. Not sure how many times that is. Maybe it's like a four, four X. It's pretty primitive. If you, it looks black on the outside, but if you open it up, it's gray or it's beige on the inside. So, I thought that was kind of funny. I might show you that. Uh, tape backup, and then we have six IBM uh, hard drives. These are SCSI server-grade 
hard drives and they are I think nine gigabytes yeah they are they're nine gigs a piece uh, this freaking stupid desk thing makes it hard to take them out but I want to take them out so um, yeah excuse me shit just dropped it on my camera Ugh, sorry about that people I just need to uh, remove this drive okay there just need to tilt the thing a little bit all right that probably wasn't good for my camera but I, I didn't drop it very hard it's like a, an inch anyway yeah IBM nine gigabyte server drive there SCSI as you can see nine gigs November 1999 so yeah SCSI um, so yeah let me go ahead and put that back in there now I apologize just need to lift it up a little bit and then it'll okay so anyway that was one of them there are six so sorry about that I was interrupted anyway there are six drives here um, there's just a little diagram about how you're supposed to configure the hard drives depending on how many you have um, yeah so that's that that's the front of the computer now let's go ahead and take a look at the insides <coughs> excuse me uh, so yeah I'm not sure if you would call this a BTX form factor I mean it makes sense since you know it's like a BTX but I don't know if that's different for servers or whatever but the motherboard is freaking huge I don't know if you call this an XL BTX motherboard or whatever I don't know I'm more of an expert on uh, newer desktop computers rather than these old servers, but I'll tell you what I do know. <laughs> Over here we have our backplane for the SCSI drives. These are not hot swappable according to the BIOS. I need to update the SCSI BIOS for this thing because it's like not installed. It's saying uh, there's power for the backplane and then the uh, controller or the cable that goes to the SCSI controller. That is a Dell Perk 2 SC um, SCSI controller with 16 megabytes of removable memory on a SIM there. I'm not sure if that's for like cash or or what, but yeah. Uh, down here we have a simple PCI USB card. Uh, one of the ports uh, is non-functional. I don't know what's up with that, but it's just a cheap Chinese USB card, but it works. Um, up here we just have a creative sound blaster uh, and Sonic ES1370 uh, I'm having troubles finding drivers for this thing so this thing doesn't have sound currently uh, I can't find any driver on the internet for it and then up there we have a parallel tasking to uh, Ethernet controller there I believe that's 10100 I don't know I don't think it's a gigabit let me just move a little bit in here um, over here we have our four memory modules of uh, I believe this is PC100 uh, ran there, PC133. It has a total of 512, so those are all 128 megabytes each. So, there you go. Wait, yeah, 128 megs each. Uh, here we have our two 500 megahertz Pentium 3s. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty sweet. I believe these Pentium 3s have 512K each. So, that's a lot of cash for an old computer like this. Oh, we have a 120 millimeter rear exhaust fan, and then we have our server grade power supply up here. And uh, yeah, the rest is just messy cables, to be honest. Uh, down there, I'm not really sure what's going on down there. Just a bunch of loose, unconnected cables. Oh, uh, that's another. Oh, well, that's another backplane uh, cable there. Huh. Okay, that's weird. I guess it's locked down with this thing. That's kind of strange, actually. I don't know why there's a fan in there. There looks like to be a small uh, 90 millimeter fan right there. I don't know. I guess that's just front intake, but it, intake from where? There's no freaking vents on the front of this thing. So that's kind of strange, but uh, yeah. So, you guys ready to boot this thing up? And I'm going to boot it up without any of the covers on just because I'm cool like that. So, um, like I said, I've already booted this thing up multiple times since yesterday just to make sure everything's working. Uh, and I booted it up today, and uh, yeah, it's worked just fine. Okay, 
So, let's power this baby on. Damn it. Okay, it switched back to DVI. Crap. Crap, 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 crappity crap. There we go. Bam. So it has the Intel 440GX um, motherboard. I believe the motherboard was supplied by Intel. Two thousand. I still say it's a 1999 computer. So we have two 500 megahertz processors, 100 megahertz processor bus, 512k of cache each. Come on, focus. There we go. So it's initializing the firmware. It's going to detect the drives. I think I have this thing set up in RAID 0, uh, just two partitions, about 17 gigabytes each. Spinning the, spinning the drives. The post is really, really long on this thing. Really long, like I'm, I'm talking really long. It takes a couple of minutes to boot up. But that's a server, and that's how it do. Should get the beat pretty soon. Thing's pretty noisy when it's on. Moves a lot of air though. That is a fast van. I mean, you can just feel a lot of air coming out of the back. So, good cooling on this thing. That's an upside. Oh, and yeah, and the side panel has a very nice diagram about how to do cer certain various things. Uh, like, uh, install, it, install a new backplay board. Um, you can, uh, it tells you about all the jumpers for processor speeds. Um, and by the way, even though this thing only has a 450 megahertz jumper, it supports up to like 1 gigahertz Pentium 3s, so, yeah. So yeah, it just tells you a bunch of different things about the computer, so that's pretty cool. Um, on the front here, as you can see, we have a uh, bunch of indicators for each drive. Uh, since the BIOS is not installed for the SCSI, I believe that's why all of these connectors all connectors, all these indicators are just lit up constantly uh, because the BIOS is not installed and we're getting a little flashy light there. Is it going to boot? Yes it is. Okay, cool. Uh, so let me go control alt delete enter my password I don't really care it's not like you guys are ever going to see this computer anyway I mean, in real life, by the way, not like you guys are obviously seeing the computer right now. So, due to that integrated ATI, uh, what the hell is it? It would be an ATI Rage Pro uh, AGP, just integrated video. It would be right there. Uh, it's only two megabytes of video memory, so you can't run very high resolutions. So I'm stuck at 1024 by 768, and that's why everything looks so huge. But let me go ahead and open the speckers just so I can show you the shiz. Okay. So we have Windows Server 2003, Enterprise, Service Pack 1, because I tried to update to Service Pack 2, but it took too long, so whatever. I'll get it updated eventually. I have uh, two of these, not just one. We have 512 megabytes of RAM, so I mean, yeah. Wonder if Task Manager will show two processors. Yep, there you go. CPU one, CPU two. It's better than a dual core. Suck it. Just kidding. But uh, <laughs> yeah. And then if we go into my network places, which would be the shiz, you can see. We have data. This folder would be about 17 gigs. Or no, 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 no. That's just a folder, so. There's basic crap in it just like that. Um, just like that. There's not really anything on it right now, but yeah. So the main hard disk, 
is 16.7 gigabytes as is the second partition so I just split it right down the middle I want to shrink this and extend this but I don't know if I can do that I might have to reset up the raid so I don't know I'll just I think I'll just leave it like that so I have plenty of space for the primary partition and then a good amount of space for data so yeah this is server 2003 so you have the manager server and all that crap so yeah let's go ahead and take a look at um, device manager and then I'll uh, show you this thing on the internet because oops just open something else okay oops all right go away all right um, see so yeah, if we go into device manager you know this thing is actually pretty speedy for an old computer like this that is the only thing that's uh, not installed is this creative uh, ES 1370. And other than that, everything else is all good. Uh, so, yeah, it has an ATI Radeon, no, crap that, ATI 3D Rage Pro AGP, so it's really, really, really crappy. So, you can't run high resolutions. And then we have two Pity of Threes there. Uh, we have a 3-com Ethernet server, which is basically the parallel tasking um, thing. Anyway, yeah. So let's go ahead and browse on the internet. I have Firefox on here for whatever reason. I guess I just decided to put Firefox on here instead of Chrome, which doesn't make much sense because I prefer Chrome because it's a little bit faster. In my experience, anyway. Don't go, you know, all browser war crap on me, but yeah. Hey, it's Jackie Robinson's 90 something birthday. 94th. Nice. Very, very nice. So, uh, we can go Dell. I wonder if this thing... Oh, wrong keyboard. Derp. Yes, I'm having breakfast. I'm eating, f I'm eating food and doing a video. Oh, I have caps lock on. Oops. So, let's see if we can go to Dell.com on an old server like this. Look at that. And it's not even that bad. Look at that crap. Looks like the Dell website to me. I wonder if we can go to YouTube. YouTube? Oh yeah, we got YouTube. Hell yeah. Oh, need to upgrade Flash Player. Screw that. Um, hmm. I wonder if I can. I wonder how well this thing would play a video. Let me install Chrome and I'll be right back. Alright, I got the front panel back on. And that little flashing light down there went away, which is good. And uh, yeah, all those indicators are like that. But that's always been like that. Uh, yeah, and I got the side panel back on, so it's now restored to its original condition there. And I moved the keyboard and mouse over here because I kept typing on those because that's what I'm used to, and it just kept getting annoying. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? Screw you, putting it back. And then I put these over here. So we're installing Google Chrome, and uh, I want to see how well this thing will play a YouTube video. Obviously, obviously there won't be any sound because there's no sound card drivers, but, you know, should still play the video without, you know, fancy things like sound. Why would you want that? No one gives a crap. No, I'm kidding. Sound makes the video. Or else they just call it a picture slideshow. A very fast picture slideshow. But that's basically what a video is, but you need sound to do it. In you know what? I'm rambling again. Screw it. So yeah, um, by the way, how the hell am I getting this thing connected to the internet through wireless so I don't even have a wireless card that'll work with this thing? Good question. That's one reason why I set up this Linksys router many, many months ago. So I could connect desktop computers to the internet. At the time, I was using a laptop as a main computer and I never thought about building a desktop. But I built my desktop, and I was like, okay, well, I'll just use this thing. It soon, pro it soon uh, proved to be inadequate for what I wanted to do with it. So, aka like online gaming, major downloads, etc. It would just go out all the time. So, yeah, I purchased a wireless card for my desktop, but it's a really good application for things like this, where you need really old computers 
to be able to be connected to the internet. So I leave that on for that. And I also that thing also doubles as an access point. So if you have devices like my iPhone 3GS, which was damaged, and the wireless range greatly reduced because of some damage uh, from dropping it and it snapping in half. Like the screen came apart from the rest of the phone, but I put it back together and now it works. Just the wireless uh, range is terrible. It won't it won't detect the router and out in the living room, but it will detect that one and it works just fine. So, I mean, it works really good for applications like that. And that's one of the reasons why you want DDWRT on your router. You, you know, I'm getting this error on pretty much every computer I install it on. That's kind of weird, but whatever. So, you know what? I'm going to remove Firefox now because I like Chrome better. <laughs> Let me delete shortcut. Uh, so, here we have Chrome. I'm going to sign in, actually. But let me just delete. Delete. Um, there we go. Alrighty. I'm actually going to sign in so everything's synced, even though this is just a server. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't have the uh, Windows 7 commands. I'm just. I'm lazy these days, I just like... Here, hold on, let me log in. I have such a long password. It's like 25 characters long. Well, 17 anyway. Okay, there. Everything will be, yep, there we go. Now I have everything synced, so that is pretty sweet. So let me close that tab. Let's go to YouTube and see what we can do. Obviously, there's not going to be any sound, like I said, but whatever. You can search here with Google. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm not going to sign in. I'm just going to um, view a video. Let's see. Let's just view one of my videos. Why not? Oh, installing ad block. Okay, okay, that's cool. Cool, cool. Sorry about that. It's just a habit I have these days. It's kind of funny. Maybe not. Okay, come on, let's go. It's installing ad titties, that's why. Here we go. Look at that gradient, it's so terrible. <laughs> it's because we're only in 16-bit color. Um, let's see. Let me just go to my channel. Oh, by the way, guys, I'd like to thank everyone for 2,000 subscribers. That is just awesome. That is just sweet right there. I mean, oh, God, look at the colors. But anyway, yeah, I'm just so thankful for 2,000 subscribers. That is just sweet. Everything is so stretched, it's so gross. Whatever. Just play a video, let's see how well it can play the video. Probably not great with that stupid, worthless graphics card, but... <laughs> We're gonna try it anyway. Is it working? I can't tell. Hmm. Well, it sort of works. Look at that terrible color. Oh God. I imagine if this thing has a dedicated had a dedicated graphics card, it wouldn't do too bad. But yeah, that's that. So that is the end of this video. Uh, I'm just gonna, you know, do stuff. Oh, and then I guess I might, might as well. Uh, demonstrate something on my main computer. Just demonstrate that you can see it on the network. I don't know if I already did this. I don't think I did. Just wait for it to refresh. Come on. You can do it. Okay, there. And if we open that, we can go into data. And bam, you can see the same thing that you guys saw on server 2003.
I mean, there's nothing in here right now, except for a couple of things. And then you can open a picture that's stored on the computer. That's kind of dumb. That's so stupid. Anyway. There you go. Bam. So that is a complete uh, showcase of the server back up and running. Go back to VGA real quick. I'm actually going to turn it off because um, I don't need to have it on. Shut it down. Yeah, you have to write a comment every time. Okay. Let's write a comment. You know, those are actually a snack. Cheese nips, those are actually like legit. Those are pretty good actually, but that that I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Okay, shut her down. Oh and I have the Luna theme on Server 2003, in case you noticed, you're like, what the hell is that? I just enabled the theme services. Yeah, enabled the theme service. And yeah. So this thing won't run all the time, but at least it's you know, functional now. Like, it will run if you needed to. Just wait until it shuts down, then I'll end the video. It takes a long time to turn off, too. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Come on, you know you want to. There you go. Thank you guys for watching the video. Comment, rate, subscribe, leave a comment, like I said, if you have one. And uh, I'll see you guys later.